inventions are just some of the reasons that Frontier soft wheels made by Norway are so easy and enjoyable to use. They're rigid, rugged, reliable, and by reducing the accomplish better cooperations, you get your learning process and help you fully understand the sawmill and all of its functions. Every Frontier sawmill is easy, funding tools, productive, and hey. So every day for, I don't know, over a week now, I've been noticing little Cranberry escapes the chicken run and she runs around the yard and hangs out with Bilky and is just living her best life really. But uh, I haven't found any of her eggs in the chicken coop nesting area this whole week as well. So I figured she's been out laying her eggs somewhere and she hasn't been in the little house that we had for our other chicken birdie and so I always see her coming back here behind the wood pile and every time I would come over here looking for her I could not find her I've been moving all the tarps around and looking underneath everything and I'd never find her and then as soon as I turned my back I would hear her little chirp and she'd come walking out of somewhere but I could never see where it was and so today I see her again no 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 stay I see her again running around and so I was looking and I started looking under the wood pile and I noticed that there's a bit of a gap between a pallet just stay Are you okay between a pallet and um, the ground and so I thought I better just look underneath the pallet because that it's kind of a small spot, but maybe maybe she'll fit there. Yeah, so I I looked under the pallet and I noticed there's all the eggs. I found her spot. And it's super sneaky. But there's about seven or eight eggs in there, I think. So now I've got to figure out how to get them out and see if they're good or not. But you are a little sneaker. You're a little sneaker. Yeah. You cute little chicken. Little squirrel. Squirrely Jim. Okay. Okay. So we've been making sawdust on our property. Lots of it. Uh, I have taken the time to set up my new 10 year old Wood Miser LT10, which they don't make the LT10 anymore, but. Uh, this is a great mill for me to learn on. He's been wanting a mill for a really long time and we finally found one on a buy and sell page on Facebook. Yeah. And it was, I think, three hours away. So yeah. one day after work we drove th for six hours to go pick it up, yep. come back home. And it was a really nice trip actually. 
and the guy that we got it from was awesome. Yeah. And now we are sawing milling wood. We are milling wood. Greg's milling wood. I haven't done it yet, but I will soon. So my first project that we're milling wood for is a fence between my neighbor's place and ours. And it's not that we don't love our neighbor. We love our neighbors dearly. We just like to have privacy and we want to give them privacy to, as well because we share a border between our we share a border. <laughs> we share uh, a property line, and uh, we're putting up the, the great wall of of, of fur. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm milling uh, milling one inch fur slats that we're gonna build a nice big ten foot fence, which seems a little bit huge, but you know it's just all in the name of privacy. We live up here for privacy. He yeah. lives up here for privacy, and even though we spend a lot of time together, we still want to maintain our own privacy. So. Uh, so it's the great the great thing is I can make I can learn how to mill and I can be off a little bit on these boards because they're just fence boards. Um, practice practice boards. Without further ado, yes, we're gonna show you the setup and the first run of the mill that Greg did. Chop. <laughs> so the first thing I have to do is I have to level out this area right here the best I can because a level sawmill cuts straight lumber from what I understand I'm a complete noob at this all I've done is watch hundreds of hours of other people milling and I'm uh, I'm enamored by it I'm absolutely excited to get into this so I'm gonna I'm gonna flatten up this area over here and then I'm gonna put four by fours down and then secure the rails to the four by fours and then I'm gonna do a test run I suppose
but when you pull the blade back, you can see how. I got my mill. <laughs> this is like, uh, Katie, can you just do like a 360? I just want you to like feel how nice it is to be here right now. The golden hour, oh, almost. Yeah. It's super golden. So yeah, I got a Wood Miser LT10. I am, it's a good starter saw, like, I mean, a starter mill. Uh, I am already noticing a few shortcomings with it, but it's a, it's a great place to start to learn how to use a sawmill. And uh, we're gonna be able to do tons of projects because we have this thing. Yeah, I've wanted this for a long time. This is a good moment for me. See you next time. See you next time. <laughs> okay. That should be a good size for a fence, eh? Wing. <laughs>